Hey guys, welcome into today's video. Today we're gonna to be playing with some fun makeup. Two different brands recently launched some new makeup and I thought it was freaking adorable and I needed to try it. They launched this rose blush, literally in the shape of a rose, and I thought it was the coolest thing. So I wanted to give it a shot, I picked it up, and then I saw another brand which is called She Loves launch a <laughs> lip balm in the shape of a cheese block. So I picked both of those up and it got me on a kick of looking for other kind of cool and fun makeup just something that I thought would be like interesting to kind of feature on my channel just something that would be fun for me and different so that's what I did I kind of hunted around I placed an order for some of the things that I thought looked really cool I put on most of the makeup that isn't related to the items that I didn't pick up we will just kind of hop into looking at each of the products and then putting them on so the first one up is the blush Gemini cosmetics I think I placed this order on Amazon of course I will list everything in the description box but it came directly from the cosmetics company themselves it's in a very nice like packaging like they did a really good presentation with this this is kind of how it looked when I opened the box it's so beautiful I am not sure what to expect I haven't like unboxed this myself it is the blush and bloom handcrafted and finely milled 3d silk rose blush on kit this did come in three shades it says blush and bloom love edition blush on kit is a real looking rose blusher made of silk cloth that is masterfully handcrafted to perfection it even smells like a real rose each rose is delicately dipped into an ultra rich formula it is made in shimmer to matte finish that glides silky smooth into your skin and can last all day. This is the most stunning and luxurious blush on powder you can ever own or can ever give as a gift. It is every makeup lover's dream, not to mention this kit comes with a flat blusher brush for the most amazing blush experience. Okay, so I'm assuming the brush is in the box. These are the three shades that it comes flirty, feisty, and fierce. I picked mine up in the shade flirty. And the other ones were pretty vibrant, almost like my shirt and then one that was like a deep red. So I got the one that was like more pink or more mauve. So I'm just kind of taking this top off and I'm, I'm really scared because I can see that there's this like bottom here and I don't want the blush to just come flying out because I would be so mad if I ruined it before I got it on my cheeks. This does come like out of this insert here so you can put it back on the box and store your blush like this without the sleeve on it. So let's open this sucker up. Here is the rose on the inside. It distinctly, distinctly, I just put an emphasis in a weird place. It distinctly smells like a rose, like an actual flower, not like a rose perfume. This smells like I'm standing in the garden and I'm legitimately sniffing a rose. I don't even know what to think of this. And in the bottom here is where the brush is housed. So it kind of looks like one of those ones you get from Benefit or Physician's Formula that no one uses. I don't know what to expect of this. Is this like, is this all made of like the blush? I mean, I'm getting pigmentation that's coming off on my finger. It's just that I guess you can't take this out of the box any farther it's kind of like in there and so you would have to kind of like twirl your brush around to get the pigmentation it's so gorgeous you can see like the sparkles in the shimmer in it you see that it says that it's like a shimmer to matte formula. I'm so interested to see what this does. So I'm just gonna dip my brush like straight into it, just like this, I think. This is crazy, this is gonna be crazy to store. Okay, here we go, you guys. It's pigmented. How rough can I get with this? The more I'm like twirling my brush around, the more I can smell the rose. It's got pigment like and it has a sheen to it huh okay it's definitely like a cloth which it feels like a cloth it feels like paper almost but so much pigment comes off when i barely touch it it's crazy you guys i'm just enthralled by this i'm surprised my mouth isn't hanging open but then like does the pigment eventually fade or does the cloth get smaller like how long would this last you? I mean, obviously you couldn't travel with this or anything, but I mean, it's pigmented. Like it gives you pigment. I would say though, this side was more shimmery than this side, simply because I took more of like the shimmer out of the center with my brush on like the first pass than the second. So I think it gets less shimmery as 
it goes on. So more shimmer, less shimmer, still super shimmery. I mean, it's pigmented, it's nice. It's even something you could like kind of display, like, hey, this is my, this is my blush. I didn't use the brush, I just, I don't think that I wanna swipe on my blush like this, even though this is really soft. It's just not something that I would probably use. But yeah, I mean, it's like picking up, you know, a good amount from my cheek, so I think it would probably pick it up from the blush pretty well. I don't think you need a highlighter with this. I think it's good enough. Very cute. Like, I'm not sorry I picked this up. I just think this is adorable and cute and different and unique. And yeah, I mean, I get a kick out of it. Let's move on to another product that I picked up. I did pick this up from Amazon. This is from a brand called Linz. There is the brand name down there. This is a mascara. Again, I was on the hunt for kind of unique and interesting packaging beauty products and, you know, just gimmicky in general. And saw this and I was like, okay, I have to get this. So that's why I do not have any mascara on right now because I wanna give this a shot for the upper and lower lashes. Here's, here's the guitar or the cello. Is this a cello? This is a cello. <laughs> this is the mascara. It, this like shimmery fabric here is like glued on. You can definitely like feel that it's just kind of glued on. And there is the back, it says Lintz Mascara. So it's like the top part of the, whatever this is called, the cello here kind of comes off. Oh, it is tiny. Do you guys see how small this is? Oh my gosh. It's the littlest thing in the whole entire world. I've never, this is like a, a brow mascara, like a brow applicator, but it seems really pigmented. Like you could hear how much product is like in the tube. There's no time like the present. We are going into the top lashes and I'm gonna see what kind of pigmentation we get and what kind of formula this gives. This is one you could get like really close to your lash line. Holy smokes. Okay, doesn't hold a lot of product as you would imagine. So I'm already dipping back in, but it's pigmented. Like it's giving pigmentation. And I love how close I can get to my lash line. I'm somebody who freaks out when I get way too close. I like getting close, but then I will jump <laughs> and then just make a mess. And I don't feel like you would with this. This is just like the perfect little size if you wanted to get really, really close. And honestly, it's giving a good amount of pigmentation. Like I'm not finding this super gimmicky yet. It's a sticky formula though, like sticky. So I feel like it dries pretty quickly, but I mean, I'm layering it just fine. And it's not like a light mascara. It gets pigmented. Can you guys see? I think that's all I want. Like that did it. That wasn't a longer process than it normally takes me with just like a normal wand. All right, let's go into the lower lash line. Okay, I already made a mess. I hit my lower lash line, but you know what? Can you tell? I don't know. I'll wait and see when it dries, if I can clean it up pretty easily. But I don't know how this is not gonna become my lower lash line mascara. <laughs> because it's just like the perfect shape. Like, even though I made a mess, cause I was like going a little ham there for a second, I feel like it just is so small that it's like the perfect size for someone's lower lash line. Cause I always get intimidated. I don't know about you guys, but my lower lashes, like I either go too heavy or too light. It almost looks like it's a tubing mascara. Cause it feels like there's just little fibers on the wand when I'm pulling it out of the tube. Let me see if I can kind of show you guys. It just looks like these tiny little fibers on the ends and it's not clumpy. They just look like legit little fibers. You know, unfortunately, like all of this writing is in a different language. And so I wouldn't be able to tell if this was like a fiber mascara unless I looked it up. So I will list that in the description box, but I feel like it does have fibers on it. I do feel like it's a, almost like a tubing mascara. It's actually really good quality. Like I'll see if it transfers. Of course, I'll list that in the description box. I'll see if it like holds up or it does anything strange when I'm removing it at the end of the night, but I just liked the application. I'm somebody who likes when it gives like kind of clean length and doesn't clump up too much, gives me a good amount of pigmentation. Mascara for me is just a really important beauty product. And so something like this might be cute for me to buy, but is it gonna be something that I reach for all the time? Cause I want quality from my mascaras. I actually thought this was pretty damn good. I don't know. So far, I'm finding the quality, even though these are gimmicky, being quite nice. 
Let's move on into the lip balm. I should have probably done that first so we could have let it sit. I don't think there's a lot of color in this lip balm. This is a new release. This is from She Loves. This is the Sweet Cheese Discoloration Lip Balm, which is an interesting name. This one was in the shade 01. I think they came in three shades, a red, a yellow, and like an orange, but they're all mostly sheer. This is what the product looks like. There's the little cheese. You guys, I love cheese. I love cheese. Cheese, I couldn't live without cheese. This looks like a little block of Swiss cheese. It does come with a little brush on the inside. Look at this teeny tiny little brush. But do I wanna use that or do I just wanna like throw this straight onto my lips? Like with my cheese block. All right, let's try it with the little thing. I'm actually gonna swatch this like onto the back of my hand. Okay. It has a good amount of pigmentation. Like it's just a nice wash of color. I think that for sanitary reasons, this little brush would be nice if you wanted to share with your friends. Otherwise, I don't care. Throw it right onto my lips. I mean, it's not like you need to get precise with this. Let's just go ahead and go straight in. Okay. Oh, shit. All right, that's not super easy, but you could take it with your finger and go like this. Done. It has a fruity scent to it. Like it smells good and tastes good. My only concern with this is probably that the cap just would come off like in your purse and then you just have like this cheese block floating around in there. But this is actually really tight. Like I don't think that this would just come up on accident. Yeah, it's, it's on there really snug. So again, this is like something that you could just put out on your vanity. It's just really cute. It's super hydrating, massively comfortable, feels really, really good, like a creamy lip balm. I don't know where you would store this little brush though, because it's not like it goes underneath or anything. It was like in the insert of the box here. So I don't know if it's like, I probably just wouldn't even use this brush. It's so small, it would take so long. I would just honestly take my finger and just apply it and move on. I was trying to do it like this and it just was, I just didn't know which way to turn the block of cheese. So that was a little bit weird. Uh, yeah, okay. I do wanna try another lip product here. This one is from Ag and Ag or AG and AG and it's the Queen Admires Lipstick. This is another one that I picked up on Amazon. Here's the packaging, you guys. Look at this chain. Oh my gosh. So here are the three colors that it comes in. This is a lipstick that is literally gonna get stolen by my daughter if she knows that it's in here. So this is like attached here and it comes with a clasp on the other end. And so you would like hook it and I guess you would wear it as a bracelet or like around your neck. I would assume it's like this. I don't know, I, I won't be doing that. But here's the packaging. And I know that they sell things that are very similar, like Christian Louis Vuitton, sell one in similar packaging, but this is a fraction of the cost. It has tiny little rhinestones all the way around. So the top just pulls off like this, and the bullet is this interesting shape. Like I can't call it a diamond. I don't know what I would call it. So let's swatch it. Yeah, look at that. I just took off the lip balm. Let's go ahead and go into this. The smell on this isn't as nice. Like not a fruity scent. Hmm. This is interesting putting it on because it has really that flat edge to it. It's almost like um, you could take it here. I'll stop talking for a second. Like that. And then fill it in. Why do I like the shape of this better than our standard bullets? I don't, something about this like flat edge. Oh look, this just totally came off. Okay, so now you guys know the quality on that is that it's very sensitive. Not that I liked that anyway, and I probably would have taken it off, but back to the shape of the bullet. Because it's flat like this, I actually like the way this applies. Cause I was going like this and getting like a sharp edge and then just filling it in. I preferred the shape of the bullet. Really cute, really creamy, really pigmented. Again, quality is good on all of these, not just gimmicky kind of packaging. I am sorry that this broke off, but I bet you I could string it through here and it would work just as well. The next thing that I wanna try is also a lip product. It is the last thing. It's the Tattoo Lipstick. This is from Free Spirit. Another thing that I picked up on Amazon, I bought the multicolor pack. So it comes with these four shades, like this nude shade, 
brighter pink, light pink, and then a red. I have seen these online before. They are just Q-tips that you end up breaking and they're like lipsticks. So there is one in the shade Rose Red. This one is in the shade just red. One package in the shade Nude. They each come with five of these Q-tips and then one that is in pink. It looks like a cigarette case. Like I said, I have seen these online before and I have seen people try them. And what I think you do is because they have these little lines on the Q-tips, you would break it, then kind of like turn it down and then just apply the Q-tip to your lips. I don't know that we need to try one of every shade, but I do think we should try two shades. By the way, this is a beautiful red color. It has like blue pigment in it, but it also has like almost an orangey, orally color as well. Quite beautiful. Let's try the nude one first, just because I'm most excited to see like what color that turns out being. So these are just perforated. You just tear them off. So weird. Taking a Q-tip to apply your lip product. All right. I'm not exactly sure how they did it, but they broke it. I think at this line, you just snap it. I don't care if I mess one up. You do, okay. Oh, then the product goes to the other end. So one application per Q-tip, got it. This is the nude one, remember. What, how is this nude? Oh, oh, they taste terrible. Oh, they taste awful. I feel like I'm at the dentist right now. That's what I feel like. So they're a lip stain, a liquid going on. And so it's like creamy, that goes away. Like it's just a lip stain, that's all it is. And it dries down really, really fast. It's basically fully dried at this point. Like that's it. I just don't know why this is the nude one because it looks red to me. Here's what I, here's what I think about this. I think that this would be good to travel with. Like if you were, for example, like going to a club or something, and I'm not going to clubs anymore, but if you were going to a club and you had like a really small purse and didn't have enough room in your bag to bring a full size lipstick, I could see this being like a good product because you can just easily apply it and then throw it away. And literally you could stick this in your bra. Like I'm not saying you should stick this in your bra. There are definitely times where I'm like, okay, I've run out of pocket space. I've run out of hands and I will just like really quickly while I'm getting back to my car or something. So I could see this just being like, you know, something that you could do that with. It's just not nude. So I'm interested to see what the pink shade is like. This is such a stain. I'm worried this is not gonna come off at all, but we're gonna try. I took off about half my foundation to get it off and that's as good as I could do. So hopefully that's good enough because I wanna go into the pink next because the pink here looks like a straight hot pink. Like this clearly was not the nude shade. It almost felt like I grabbed the red one, but I didn't. I definitely grabbed the nude. So you can see it says pink right there. Let's see if it's truly pink or like as hot pink as the box makes it seem it's like. All right, breaking this one. Still looks red. Here we go. Oh, look, another red. Just kidding. Mm, mm. That initial taste is so disgusting so watery that it like definitely kind of gets into your mouth. That one looks pinker. I like this one. Like I said, they're, they dry down really fast and they're really comfortable. Like they're not glossy, but you, you just don't even feel them on your lips because they're a lip stain. So once they've dried, it's like, that's it. You get a flush of color. You probably can count on this color staying a good amount of time throughout the day for sure. And I think they're kind of unique and kind of cool because they're so little and you don't, you know, they're a one and done situation. I mean, it's definitely gimmicky, but I can see the quality being there. So even though I think these are definitely gimmicky products, like you don't need these in your life, right? But they're fun to have. And if you're an avid like makeup lover, like I am, it's just fun to have this kind of stuff. It makes it unique. It like gives, you know, a little bit of extra oomph in your collection. And these were not that expensive. Like these were Amazon purchases. Some of them are really inexpensive. Like I said, I will list everything in the description box of like where I got it and what the price was and what the shade was. If you're interested in trying these, it's not gonna break the bank for sure. I think they were good quality. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am out of here and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.